Y'all, I ain't posted in two days. Two days. Two days. Two days. Two days. Two days. What is up, you guys? It is Aurora Sims, and welcome back to my channel for part number 12 of The Sims 3 The Greens. So, um, in the previous part, I'm sorry, I had to take a little bit of a deep breath. I just got done eating, so my stomach is very bloated, and I feel like I just ate a cow. Like, that's how bloated I am right now. Um, but anyways, so in the previous part, we kind of just got back on track because I know a lot of you guys were a little bit lost just a little bit uh today is actually spooky day in the sims world and I know you guys are like who is this extra character over here I actually decided to go ahead and move Danny in and I also gave her a makeover so this is what she looks like she's super cute I love her she's like a little ginger I just she's so adorable I love it so anyways um yeah so that's kind of what's been going on now before we get into the nitty gritty, let me just quickly tell you guys that we only have eight more parts of this series left. So if you haven't been commenting, you need to get on it because you guys are really inspiring me and helping me with season two because you can't top season one. Like, that's, it's just impossible. Like, there's no way that you'd be able to top the drama and the craziness that was in season one. So if you guys have any ideas for how this series should go or, you know, which direction you'd like to see, definitely leave some comments down below. Even if it's the craziest thing in the world. Now, if it's too crazy, I don't know. Also, you can email me. You can send me a message on Tumblr or Twitter of your ideas if you don't want people to see them and you kind of want it to be like a surprise sort of thing. Just you know don't be shy share it with your ideas and share how you think this story should go and things like that it would be really interesting to kind of see some of you guys' ideas unfold so today is spooky day as i said before and what i was thinking of doing is actually throwing a party and here's why let me just let me just share with you guys why now harmony is heard through the grapevine through the town of Hidden Springs that Isabel and Percy are kind of having this little flirtatious thing going on back and forth. She does not like that. Harmony does not like that. She is not going to let Isabel win. That's just not going to happen. No way, nurse, no siree, Bob. How is it? No siree, Bob. Yeah, she's not going to let that happen. So we're going to have a party. We're going to invite everybody. And when I say everybody, I mean everybody, okay? And um, we're going to see what's going on. We are going to see, um, you know, we're going to kind of like make out with Percy and like try to get back with him in front of Isabel's face. Now, we're not going to invite Sydney, obviously, because, you know, we're just not going to invite her um, because she's been a little bit shady lately. She doesn't want anything like she's been kind of avoiding Harmony, which Harmony has a feeling that something's kind of going on that she's not sure about. But Sydney's been avoiding Harmony and, you know, she doesn't like that. So we're definitely going to have a word with her next time we see her. But as of right now, we're just going to kind of focus on the task at hand, which is um, turn up my sound really quick, which is getting to know. Um, some new people and stuff like that so anyways we are gonna of course invite Liam we're gonna throw this big party I'm super excited let's do a costume party and we'll have it for five o'clock because actually let's do six so we can have enough time to cook and things um, and we are going to do 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 we'll invite Annie because she's pretty good friends with Harmony Boo over here we're also going to invite uh, the fam, which would be Jackson, Haley, Percy, blah, blah, blah. Um, and let's go ahead and invite our mom because why not? We're not going to invite Spencer because Harmony doesn't know anything about Spencer and what's going on with him. So we're just not going to invite him. Um, and this is why Spencer's not around, by the way. You guys were asking why Spencer isn't around. <laughs> Let me just get you guys prepared for this. So, if you don't remember, um, if you didn't watch season one, which please, if you have not, please go watch it. Um, ugh, I'm trying to get my words together. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, Spencer killed Ethan. We all knew this, hopefully, if you watched season one. And um, they, they're kind of like all sort of pushing Spencer out of the picture. Now, the only green girl 
that is in contact with Spencer and who has no problem being around Spencer and blah, 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 is Raina. So if Raina was hosting this party, she would probably invite him. Spencer has a wife and kids and all that stuff, but no one really knows that he actually has a personal vendetta against Viola. And you guys know why. Um, if you watch season one, let me just kind of give you a, a, a refresher because it's been a while. It's been like a year. Um, so... Spencer was in love with Ethan, and Ethan and Viola were going to get married. Um, Ethan and Viola were, like, that it couple. Like, they were, like, high school sweetheart, perfect. Everything about them was just perfect. And uh, Spencer wanted that, and he was jealous because he actually really liked Ethan. But Ethan was not into Spencer in that way. He thought he was because, you know, they were friends and things like that. But he ended up just not really liking him and really loving Viola. And so Spencer had a problem with that. He killed him, cut him off, we all know this, and um, now that he's killed Ethan, he kind of blames Viola, which is so odd because obviously it's not her fault, like it's not her fault, you're crazy, it's not her fault that you, you know, have something going on in, you know, in your head or whatever, it's not Viola's fault, but of course, in his mind, it is. So he has this kind of personal plan vendetta against Viola. And his wife, if you guys remember um, Spencer's wife, is kind of like, you need to calm yourself. Like, you need to <laughs> calm yourself. Spencer has a lot going on in his head, and I don't think that any of the greens are going to expect him. He might make an appearance. We never know. We don't know. But that's why Spencer's not around, just so if any of you guys are curious. So, anyways... Um, we are also going to invite, um, I want to invite a lot of people. I really do. So we'll invite Scott because I think we knew him, right? Yeah, I think we're friends with him or something. Um, and we'll also invite Emmett because that's Sydney's brother. And we'll also invite our babysitter. Cool. So yeah, we're going to have a costume party at six o'clock, which will be perfect. And what I'm actually going to do is... I don't know if we want to get a buffet table or if we actually want to cook. Uh, Ika is like destroying everything. Scold. Okay. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to do that or if I want to like have them cook and put that out. Because it'd be kind of interesting to see um, Vanon cook because he really likes cooking. Uh, Vanon, come over here and take care of Maddie. <laughs> She's so cute. I love her. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and turn this on. And I'm sorry, there's like a bug flying in my room and I really want it to go away. Uh, we're going to turn this to slow. And what is Harmony up to? We got paid 532 simoleons. Awesome. Cool. So, let's see. What's going on? Okay, there you are. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. Oh, this bug is getting on my nerves. Okay, anyways. Um, yeah, we're gonna do that, and let me just put my coffee over here, because I think that's what he's attracted to. He wants some of my coffee. He wants that good good, you know. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna get a baker station so that um, Valon can cook us some stuff for the party. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I guess I'll move this here, and um, do, do, do. we'll do like a, hmm, I think it's right here right yeah okay so we'll do that and we'll move these colors onto here and ew that looks ugly okay and then we'll put this here I think was that right that looks weird that looks really really weird how do I fix it come on load all right there we go that looks good so yeah we're gonna do that so that he can actually cook the dessert for the party and then what we'll do, he can cook food for the party, my bad. And what we'll do is we'll just kind of like set the food out here so then if people want food, they can grab it. And we also want to get some stuff um, for spooky day, like some, some pumpkins and stuff so people can carve those. And um, we might even get this little magic bush. I really like throwing really big parties if you guys hadn't figured that out already. I saw all these books in our inventory. Okay, so I think it should be in electronics or something. No, it's in party. Okay, so we'll grab a keg. I feel like that would be interesting. 
And we'll also get, um, we get this, and I think that's all we can afford right now. Crap. Um, I don't want to sell anything, because, I mean, I wish we had more money. We need to work on getting our money situation um, back on track. Okay, let's see if we have, like, a radio we can move from a room to the living room, which it doesn't seem like we do do which is crazy i could have sworn we had a radio somewhere but maybe i'm going crazy and i just don't even i don't even know so let's get rid of this we don't need oh that's why because these are so freaking expensive makes sense these are 900 simoleons all right well um okay let's move objects on so we can get all this stuff in here okay we need this here and what was the other thing I needed? A radio. And I think that's it. I think we're good after that. I think. I don't know. All right. Uh, let's put this here. Okay, cool. And then, do we have... We'll put that there. Nope, insignificant funds. Are you kidding me? Hmm. We'll get rid of... I don't want to get rid of this, though. Maybe we could get a cheaper cabinet. I think that's a better idea if we get cheaper cabinets and put it out here. Because, I mean, who cares, right? Or we could even put it on, like, a dining table. Didn't even think about that. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll get a little dining table and put our food on it. Um, I kind of like this one better. So we'll grab this one. This one, this one. Put it right there. All right, let's see if we have any spooky day decorations. This is so weird. I'm over here just, like, having fun. Looking for stuff for our party. Okay, this is all Halloween stuff. I mean, um, Christmas stuff. So let's see. Do, do, do. I don't know. I don't see it. I could have sworn that I had spooky day items, but I guess not. It's okay, though. We can just do with what we have. It's not that big of a deal. Okay. Anyways, this is fine. Whatever. Let's go ahead and turn these on. Somebody needs to clean up the house, and I think Viola's going to do it because she's the only one not doing anything. Oh, she's actually cleaning. Okay. Um, we'll go ahead and turn on the radio, change to uh, pop music, and let me just change my audio because you guys probably can't hear the sound, so we'll change it. All right, and then I think I'm going to get Danny to go ahead and run to the store um, so that she can get us some pumpkins to carve, so... For other people to carve or should we go to the festival and just pick them because then it'll be free if we do that uh you know what it'll be quicker to just go and buy them so we're gonna go to the grocery store and we're gonna buy some pumpkins for people to carve interesting okay what are you guys doing <laughs> nothing let's go ahead and get Valon to uh taste one of these magic beans and Oh, wait, no, he needs to cook. Oh, my gosh. Everything but him cooking. Okay, let's go ahead and serve... Uh, what would be Halloween-y? We'll serve... Doo -doo -doo. Peach pie, apple pie... Hmm. We'll do peach. I feel like that's, you know, Halloween, I guess. It's orange, so whatever. Um, Viola's cleaning. Reyna is painting. Perfect. Let me see how she's doing. Oh, she's doing pretty good. Okay, so Harmony's costume party is starting really soon. Let's go ahead and change into our formal wear. I think she should be like a scarlet for her um, outfit. Anyways, okay, so... Okay, so Danny made it to the store. Let's go ahead and look for pumpkins. We'll get a few so that people can, you know, carve them if they choose to. So we'll get about eight. She's going to go ahead and come back home. And we are going to change this effect to lasers. And we'll change this to fog. Actually, let's just change them both to fog. That's very haunted E, I guess is the right word. All right, um, Harmony, come over here and pour some juice. Okay, how is Maddie? Maddie's fine. She just kind of needs to use the bathroom, but whatever. Okay. So Harmony's grabbing her something to drink. Danny's just over here. Let's play with Ika. Or actually, let me see. 
you're a little bit stressed. Maybe you could play games on the computer for a little bit. So let's uh, play a racing game. And we are gonna go ahead and uh, put down the pumpkins so if people choose to carve them, they can. Um, they'll just kind of be sitting everywhere around the house. Uh, let's put some over here. And we'll put one here. Not right next to Maddie, but we'll put one right here. So like if anybody wants to grab them, that's what I like to do. I just kind of like to put them around the room because I think the Sims can just grab them and they'll be good. So yeah, and also it just makes for interesting decorations. So why not? Okay, so our first party guest has arrived. You're gonna go ahead and change into your costume. Ooh, what are you? You're a cow plant. Oh my gosh. I knew he was going to do that. Why did I know he was going to be a cow plant? I just knew it. Okay, let's go ahead and put um, the... Hold on, I cannot even get over here. Why am I not moving? Okay, let's put this here. By the way, you guys, I am using a new mouse right now because I left my mouse in my friend's car because we like to go to the library and I brought my laptop and I left my mouse in the car, which was really stupid of me, but I did. So, uh, let's go ahead and do, 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 we will, what do we need to do? Oh yeah, serve something to eat. So, we'll do hot dogs for today, for the party. I feel like that's a good party food. Let me see what else, every what everybody else has on. This is Annie, by the way, if you guys have never seen her before. She's actually super cute. Um, let's be friendly and we'll do... Hmm. Share a secret with her. And oh my gosh, Harmony's a scuba diver. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's so unlike her. Oh, okay. There's actually people bringing food. Jackson and Haley both brought some food for us. There's raspberry pie. There's ratatouille. Awesome. So we've got a big selection of food. Um, there's also pumpkins sitting around if people want to carve pumpkins. And do, do, do. where is... Okay, Isabel's right here. Samantha's a cheerleader. Scott looks like he's a ninja. This guy, I think, is a scuba diver, too. Percy's a doctor. Oh, he looks so good in his doctor's uniform. Yes. Um, let's compliment his cleverness. Because he looks so good right now. I can't even get over it. Jackson's going to go drink. <laughs> he's a little clown. He's so cute. I love him. Oh, he's adorable. Okay, so Harmony is going to talk to Percy. Um, because, you know, he's cute. So why not? I think she's stuck. Okay, there we go. Alright, where's Percy? Where did he go? Oh, there he is. He's outside. Come inside, cutie. Oh, the game's going slow for some reason. Who is this? Oh, Viola. <laughs> Viola's a hot dog. You know, just chilling. She's actually tired, so I think I'm gonna let Viola go to bed. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, skip the song, because it's kind of loud. Okay, and Harmony, come over here and be romantic and compliment his appearance. Come here, where'd you go? Come here. Come here, Percy. Thank you. I wonder if anybody's going to carve a pumpkin. I usually set them out here and sometimes Sims will take them and sometimes they won't. Just kind of depends, I guess. Um, you know what? Let's get Danny started with carving. Let's go ahead and carve a jack-o'-lantern and we'll carve a ghost. And Maddie needs a little bit of care, so Reyna's going to stop what she's doing and go ahead and uh, change her dirty diaper, do all that stuff, taking care of her. And, okay, really? Like, are you guys really stuck right now? Can you please talk to Percy? Okay, I think this pumpkin's in the way. <laughs> okay, uh, pumpkin's everywhere, pumpkin's everywhere. Come on. Talk to me, please. Uh, romantic per compliment personality. Who's texting you? Sydney. <laughs> Sydney just sent him a text. That's how we know that um, Sydney's fine. Like, are you kidding me? Talk to him. Are you serious right now, Harmony? Like, you're honestly making me mad. Thank you. He looks so good. Like, he grew up to be really attractive. Holy crap. I love it. Okay. Um, let's flirt a little bit. Okay, um, let's compliment his, oh, let's do a heat of the moment kiss. Why not? Why not? Ooh, ooh, 
I love it. He looks so good in his doctor's uniform. I wonder if he's actually a doctor or if this is like his uniform. Just his like costume or whatever. Um, we'll give him a flirtatious joke. Isabel just doesn't even seem bothered. She's like, whatever. <laughs> I'm getting my twerk on, so I don't really care. I don't really care. Um, let's go ahead and put the hot dogs on the table here. Come on. All right, there we go. And we'll put them right here. Okay, what do you want to do? You want to bring a drink to a sim. Okay, we can do that. All right, uh, let's go ahead and be romantic and kiss him. Ooh, oh my gosh. He's like putty in her freaking hands. I love it. Embrace. Uh, let's see. We will hold hands and be romantic. Compliment her, his personality. Propose going steady. Awesome. So he'll be our boyfriend now, which would be awesome. Let me see if Isabel can go ahead, or Danny can go ahead and talk to her sister. Because they haven't talked in a while. It would be perfect. Aww. They're so cute. They were like literally the it couple. And aww. But she's a little hobo. And I ma it makes me sad because like, he totally deserves better, but they're so cute together. Like, if Harmony wasn't such a horrible little witch, <laughs> they would be perfect. Okay, let's make out. And we will go ahead and stroke cheek. Like, I feel like Harmony's the type of girl to be in the 100 Baby Challenge. Like, I feel like she definitely would just use guys for, for her own personal gain. Okay. So Maddie's okay. I think that Reyna's actually handling Maddie a little bit better now, but we're gonna go ahead and put her in the swing. swing. And she's gonna carve a jack-o'-lantern with Valon. We're gonna carve one with her. And, ooh, they're so cute. All right, so people are starting to catch up on her little cheaty, cheaty ways. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, carve a ghost. And we really need to get a moodlet that will like kind of help us, or not a moodlet, a lifetime wish that would help us a little bit with our cheating and stuff, but I don't think that we've really like done anything to help that out. Like we need some something. She wants to ask Sydney out on a date and learn the cooking skill. We can do that. Go use the bathroom. Are you kidding me? Get the hell out of the bathroom, Danny. Are you serious? Are you serious? She's about to pee herself. Harmony, you cannot pee yourself in front of your own party. Go use the bathroom. Somebody carved a jack-o'-lantern. I think this is the one that Danny carved. We'll go ahead and uh, put it outside for the whole world to see. Okay. Oh, uh, no. We can't receive flowers right now. Go use the freaking bathroom. Okay, thank you. And Viola's carving. I mean, Reyna's carving her pumpkin. Balon, really? You're supposed to be carving. He's too tired. Whatever. Whatever. All right. Well, we've got two pumpkins to go outside, so that's better than nothing. Cut and light it up. Put it out here. They're so cute. I always loved carving pumpkins in this game. Like, one of my favorite things to do. Okay. So, you actually have a lot of lifetime reward points. That's awesome. Anyways, Maddie's doing good. She's just sleeping. By the way, if you guys can hear a bird outside chirping, I'm sorry. Oh, that bird gets on my nerves. Okay, let's go ahead and let Danny go to sleep. And I think Valon is going to go ahead and go to sleep as well. Because he's a little tired. Um, and he also has to work tomorrow. Harmony, what are you going to do? Where is this dude? Oh, Valon's going upstairs. Everybody's pretty much leaving. Which is awesome, so at least they're gone. They're all gone. And nobody ate anything, so we have food to ourselves. Which is nice, so whatever. We'll turn this off and go ahead and put everything away because we don't need any of this anymore. There are a few pumpkins were carved, not too many, but you know, whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and throw this out. At least we get our money back. That's the only good part about it. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this radio off. Alrighty, and we can sell this table because we don't need it anymore. And I'll put these little things in our inventory along with the keg. Cool. 
All right, so let's see if Harmony, what is she doing? She's just kind of standing there like a weirdo. Uh, let's go ahead and let her go to bed because she's a little bit tired. Oh, that guy's gonna give us flowers. I don't want to do any more flirtations until we get the either stone-hearted mood light, I mean the stone-hearted lifetime wish, or we get the opportunity, whatever you call it, or we get the thing where our public displays of affection will go unnoticed. I would really like that too, but it's going to take a while, so anyways, go ahead and put your daughter to sleep. Go put her in her crib. And then we are going to go to sleep. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to let everybody sleep. And I will see you all in the morning when they wake up. All right. Good morning, you guys. So first thing Harmony is doing is she is cooking her up something to eat because I needed to improve her cooking skills so that we could have the extra points. Um, let me go ahead and check on Reyna. She's just kind of eating here. Um, we need to clean up this house. Like seriously, it's a freaking mess. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of these. Go ahead and throw these away. Um, we need to dispose of this. Go to school, Danny. Where are you going? Okay, there we go. Okay. So anyways, yeah, we need to dispose of that stuff. We're going to go ahead and let Rena eat. And we are going to meet some new friends today. Why not? Throw this out. We'll go ahead and get uh, Rena to pay the bills. We'll get the mail. Lots and lots of stuff to do. Anyways, so yeah, Harmony is just kind of grabbing something to eat. She's going to snack and then we're going to try one more time to invite over Sydney and see if she will maybe come over and hang out. I doubt that she will, but there is always a chance. So might as well take that chance. Nope, she's not going to come over. All right, whatever. So anyways, uh, let's see what else we could do do let's invite over i kind of like liam he's actually really cute and he's married so i feel like i don't know we want to join the sculptor career oh i love you so much but i can't tell you in person oh i feel so bad for percy she wants to steal money from maddie or steal candy from maddie i thought we joined the criminal career Guys, I could have sworn in the last part we joined the criminal career, but I guess not. Uh, let's try to join it again. Um, jobs and professions. Where is that? Jobs and professions. Uh, we'll find a job. We're going to be a burglar because she was supposed to do that, and I don't know what happened. So maybe, I don't know, maybe something weird happened. I have no clue. But anyways, we're going to let her join that career. Um, Valon is starving. We're going to go ahead and power work today. And they're both going to power work because we need them both to get promoted. Okay, we'll join the criminal career. Let's go ahead and do laundry because we need to get that done. And Harmony has just joined the criminal career. Awesome. Okay, Danny, you need to work hard in school because you're not doing so great. Not doing so great. How much is this worth? Dang, 291 simoleons. That's crazy. All right, let's see what's going on with um, our situation here. Let's go ahead and put this in here. Harmony, what do you want to do, girly? We need to work on your wants. You want to buy a hot tub. Oh, but that'll give us 1,250. Hmm. I guess we could invest in it. Let me see how much it is first. Because I don't want to, we really do need cars too. Because I don't think any of them have cars at this point. Um, okay. Should be an outdoor or something. I think. I don't know. I never really buy jacuzzis for my Sims because, I don't know, I just don't. So, outdoor activities. There it is. 6,500. We definitely don't have money for that. So... Dang it. All right, well, guess when I get no hot tub? Guess it's not happening. I know, girl, you're so freaking high maintenance. Like, you want everything the way it is, but we can't. She does want to buy a dartboard, which we could do that. We could definitely afford that. So, we're going to get that. Where is it? Hobbies and skills. I think it's in here. Watch it be like a thousand simoleons. <laughs> um, okay. Do, do, do. I can't even see it. Is it? 
Oh, there it is. Okay. Dartboard. Awesome. That way we get some extra. There we go. Uh, you want to brush Ika. Steal candy from Maddie. Definitely going to do that. That would be funny. Let's go ahead and steal some candy from her. To make her cry. Come on. Oh, I feel so bad. That's so mean. Oh, gosh. She's such a horrible aunt. Come on. Oh, poor Maddie. <laughs> Let's put her in her crib. I feel so bad. It's okay. Okay. Um, She wants to also learn the cooking skill. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm, like, making her do all this stuff. But honestly, I really just don't want her to... um. I want to be able to buy that stuff that I want. Let me see exactly how much it is first before I start getting excited because I don't know how much it would cost. So, um, stone hearted is 10,000 simoleons, which I already knew. We also don't won't get jealous if we get this. Um, okay. Which master of seduction, never feel the pain of romantic rejection. Okay, that's something that we would also need. Okay, um... Hmm... Daycare, inheritance, cloudinator, collection helper... Public displays of affection will go more unnoticed by sims around town. This is what I want, above reproach, I think. So, we're definitely going to have to try and get that. But the only way that I can think to get a lot of points, um, lifetime happiness points, is if we either have a kid or we get married. And I don't really see Harmony doing any of those things. Like, I definitely see her having a kid. Um, but I don't think, I think she'd be a decent parent. I don't think she'd be the best. But I feel like she would only have a kid because she would want her lineage to continue. You get what I mean? Um, she'd be like the perfect Black Widow. Anyways, I don't know, you guys. I, I don't know. But anyways, we are actually running out of time in this part. Um, so let me know in the comments down below. Do you think that Harmony could have a kid? Do you see her getting married? Let me know. Also, what do you think about Spencer coming back possibly? Do you think that he will come back? Do you think that he'll try and get his vengeance on Viola? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm sorry that this episode was kind of a mess, but my family is awake and I hate recording when other people are listening to me. It's just so uncomfortable for me. So I'm sorry if this episode was kind of all over the place or it wasn't the best. Um, hopefully the next part will be a lot better. But anyways, I love you all so very much. I hope you have an amazing, amazing Wednesday and I will catch you all in my very next video. Bye guys.